Is it advisable to consolidate small amounts of Bitcoin received over time to different addresses within the same wallet into a single address? This is one of those questions where it depends. It depends what you're trying to achieve, and there's pluses and minuses of such an approach. Let's talk about pluses first. If you have a lot of very small UTXO, UTXO are unspent transaction outputs, whether they're in different addresses or the same address, but they're just kind of fragmented little chunks of coin, then when you construct transactions with those, those transactions will have many, many inputs. So transactions consume chunks of coin that have been sent to you and they're indivisible. So if you want to make a bigger payment and you have lots of little chunks of coins, you're going to have to aggregate them all together. That transaction is going to be a heavy transaction and it's going to be a big transaction in terms of bytes. And so the fee that you're going to pay for that, depending on the current rate in Satoshi's per byte to get onto the blockchain, may be quite hefty. To answer your question, if you can find periods of time in the network where transaction fees are really low, when the network is underutilized, and that happens every now and then, then that is a good time to consolidate some of the change or small amounts in your wallet into larger amounts. And that will allow you later when you want to make a transaction and the network is congested and transaction fees are higher, that larger amount will be in one chunk, one UTXO of coins. And so your transaction will have one input instead of many inputs, and that will make it a much lighter weight transaction with lower fees. So yes, wallet consolidation is something that you might decide to do during a period of time where the network is quiet and fees are low. However, that's mostly about consolidating multiple different coin amounts into a bigger chunk of money. I wouldn't necessarily consolidate different addresses into a single address unless it's necessary because those different addresses also have small chunks of money. And the reason for that is because it will damage the privacy that you have. If you consolidate different addresses into one, what that signals to anyone watching the network and doing statistical analysis, correlation analysis on the blockchain is they're going to assume that likely that final address is controlled by one person. And when you make a transaction where all of those inputs are aggregated, they're going to assume that all of those original addresses belong to one person. If any one of those addresses has been associated with your identity through an exchange or a merchant that participates in these KYC schemes, then they'll be able to assume that all of those addresses belong to you and track you and break your privacy. This is a double-edged sword. On the one hand, doing consolidation of UTXO when fees are low is a good idea. On the other hand, if you consolidate for many different addresses or many different chunks of Bitcoin, if you do it in a sloppy manner, if you're not careful about how you combine them, you could reduce your privacy. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to support me in my mission of educating people about Bitcoin and open blockchains all around the world and publishing free content under Creative Commons licenses, please consider subscribing to the channel, sharing this video, as well as supporting me on patreon.com slash A-A-N-T-O-N-O-P. Thank you.